so this week, I, I had to look up our very last story this week before I could even bring it on the air, because last week we got had. Really? Yep. Which one wasn't real? The nut chopping fish. Oh, man. I know. Well, wait, 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 wait. You're going, oh, man. What, you want there to be this thing? This kinda. testicle devouring monstrosity? Kind of. You're disappointed that there, there isn't one? <laughs> well, yeah, apparently that was a joke that quite often these stories um, start with somebody at a media center in the mad rush to keep up with the Internet age. They grab any story that pops up. And so if someone if someone puts it on a joke site and then someone else mistakenly takes it from that joke site and puts it on the AP, once it's on the AP wire. And this is the problem with journalism today. Yeah, journalism. Once upon a time, it was everybody's job to check a source. And now you just copy stuff from other news agencies and assume that they check their sources. And they don't. So I sat down, I went through, and I checked the last story this week. And it's all over the place, and it's sourced, so... I'm gonna... Uh, seems legit. Um, Does it involve cutlery? Yes. Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be the last one. That, that cannot... Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not, yeah. I'm not thinking anything's going to top that today. No. <laughs> that's one of those. It's just like, we're done. That's that's you can't follow that with anything. You can't be like, you know, this guy uh, stole a car. So no, you can't follow that shit. Naked rampage is nothing. Nothing. Yeah. All right. So let us begin. Each week, Catherine and the red air, the red air. Radio Dead Air audience goes Radio out. Radio Red Hair lives. Radio Dead Air audience goes out on worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment. We like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And we're gonna start a little slow. I'm crazy. We're gonna ease you into the crazy this week, kids. Yeah, slow jam the news. Yeah, slow jam. The news. All year. Um. It, This is one of those that I'm sitting here going. How is this not obviously a bad idea? This is all right. I'll, I'll just fucking go with it because this just, I don't even know how to describe the level of stupid involved here. Caesar Garcia steals Chandler ambulance drives to Guadalupe home. And you're thinking, oh, great, he stole an ambulance. We've seen this before. No, no, it gets better. A Guadalupe man from Chandler, Arizona, walked out of an Arizona police station Sunday morning, and he allegedly decided to steal an ambulance and drive home. John Favero, spokesman for the police department, said 33-year-old Cesar Garcera, uh, Garcia uh, was arrested Sunday morning for having an open container. He was released with a citation. According to police, Garcia then hopped into a parked ambulance and drove it home. What the fuck? He was picked up for drunk driving? Yeah. Or no, open container. Walking around with an open container. Oh, okay. Which is illegal in some places. Yeah. I mean, obviously he needed a ride. It's not, it's not a share a ride. It's no, not a, there. The ambulance is never a zip car. It's not a zip car. It's not for community use. It's not like, yeah. well, there's Very an ambulance. Few cities have embraced the zip ambulance program. And no, kid. imagine just rent an ambulance. <laughs> That's a party. Get ripped and get out the paddles. Yeah, well, it's it's I mean. This is well, my my tax dollars pay for it. No, it don't. No, they don't. That's not how ambulances work. No, they're often volunteer corps, actually. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully somebody wasn't inside with a serious medical issue that you stopped them from getting the proper care for. Wouldn't it have been awful if there was someone in the back? Hey, oh we're going 
doing a little weird. What's going on up there? Ah, oh, nothing. I got to stop by home first. Hold on. I'll get you there. But like, you know, hopefully there wasn't somebody inside the police station ODing or having a heart attack or something. <laughs> Sonic F. You boys like Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Grand Theft. All right, I'm blaming this on Grand Theft Auto. I'm blaming this on video games. Don't you get like extra points if you boost an ambulance in Grand you, Theft Auto? Well, the thing is, if there's any vehicle just sitting around. Yeah, you're supposed to steal it. You can hop in and go. And then go kill a hooker in it. And I've played Grand Theft Auto. I have played this game. And I've played it for like long periods of time, like a couple hours on end. And after doing so. It kind of skews your perception a little bit because I'm out there in traffic driving around. I look up and I'm like, all right, I'm going to get out and take that car because I like the, the whole world. Yeah, the, the whole world starts looking like fun. Seriously. Just start skewing your perceptions of shit. So. So, yeah, no, this. Well, but what baffles me is he gets right out of the arrested place and he does something else for which he'll be arrested. Something worse. Was he like a container is probably like a misdemeanor. I'm pretty sure stealing an ambulance is a felony. You arrest me. I'll show you. I'll show you what an arrest is. You know, I always say it. If you're going to get arrested anyway, you might as well get your money's worth. <laughs> oh, might as well be worth oh, it. Oh, God. Well, this if is one. Go you there, go all the way. <laughs> this is one you told me about, and it's from your neck of the woods. Uh Oh, um. Uh, apparently, and it was this. The, this might be a different one because if it if um is it a different one? No, I think this is it. This is it. Um, it might not specify why people felt this was an emergency. Yeah, we 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 have many times covered what nine one one is not to be used for. It's not to be used to order drugs. It's not to nope. be, it's not to be used because McDonald's got your order wrong. Or because your girlfriend is dumping you. It's not to be used to get your girlfriend back. No. But I think on the scale of petty shit that 911 has been used for, this is at the top of the list. Connecticut police cable outage, not 911 worthy. Connecticut Police Department wants people to know that missing your favorite show is it an emergency. Fairfield Police say they received numerous, numerous. That's the that's the underlined bold let numerous. Not so, so. Let me see if I can find the Facebook page. Yeah, hey, received numerous nine one one calls. Hey, you behave yourself. And the reason for that was. People were very upset that they were missing the new episode of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Now, I just started watching Breaking Bad on Netflix. Yeah. It is. It is a good show. Yes. But uh, it's not an emergency if you miss it. What? Just. <sighs> what? <laughs> It's if it was one guy, if it had just been one right. guy, if it was one idiot, that would have been OK. Yeah. But this multiple people called in about this shit to 911 because the cable was out. It was every idiot. Every, it was like an idiot. And that's like, why are you even watching Breaking Bad? They're probably using words you don't understand, like always. Yeah. I think the only thing you understand is bitch. That's probably the only word in all of the show. Here's what, and, here, you know, meth. Meth and bitch. Here's what Jesse sounds like to these people. Womp, 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 meth, womp, 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 bitch. That's what Jesse sounds like to them. That's, yeah. that's, that's what he, you know. And the thing is, they, the uh, police department put up a post about it on their Facebook page mm -hmm. and people flip the fuck out on their Facebook page. <laughs> like, 
yelling at the cops for being like, hey, don't call 911 because you're missing Breaking Bad, please. <laughs> and they just they lost their damn minds on the police. We have a constitutional right to Breaking Bad. No, no, you, you don't. don't. I'm it sorry is not their job to protect and serve Walter White. Here's grandma has a heart attack. You can't see a TV show. Yeah. Grandma. The difference? Yeah, big freaking fucking dinner. God damn it, people. Call perspective. Look it up. I just, I just. <laughs> it's like someone set off the idiot signal and everyone just ran to. to oh. Someone commented on the Facebook post. Missing Breaking Bad is an emergency. No, it's not. No, it's, it's, it's. You, you do realize that five minutes after the show's over, you can just go download the fucking thing, right? Well, right? that would be illegal. That would be breaking the law. Right. Let's call 911 Trying to instead. find the Facebook post, and I think they might have taken it down. They probably did, because they're just like, fuck this noise. Yeah. Okay, this next one, I'm not really sure whose fault this is. I think this is our first what the fuck is wrong with you where we can blame a dog. I don't want to blame a dog. Well, it's a minor thing, but it's still it's still newsworthy just for the fact that uh, we're leaving the human kingdom for the animal one. Uh, dog takes car for a ride. Hit the street sign. Well, dogs are known to be terrible drivers. Yes, this really happened. Chauncey the dog took his master's 1997 Mercury four-door for a short joyride the morning of August, August 6th. The car was parked, running in unoccupied by humans, at a Detroit Road gas station when the cruising canine knocked the shifter into reverse. The vehicle backed out of the station southbound, missing the pumps and parked cars, maneuvered a U-turn in traffic, struck a street side on the north side of the roadway, and came to a rest on a stump. How did it make a U-turn? Was the dog steering? <laughs> what? Oh, if there had ever been video. If there had ever been a need for video. Because I just... It's the cat that could drive a car. <laughs> I just want to see the fucking golden retriever. The just, poor dog must have been so scared. Can you imagine? I, I Dogs don't understand cars. Like... Car is joy to them because they get to hang their head out the window with their tongue out and be like. I, I, I hate to to bust out a meme. But this this is. Uh, yeah, this this. Um, what is that? What is it? Yeah, here it is. One second. Wait a moment. Yes. I, I, I'm going to edit this later so I don't look so clueless. Yeah, this, this pretty much sums it up. Um, driving downtown. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I actually met. I don't know if I should say met, but uh, <clears throat> countered like the world's toughest cockroach, uh, not cockroach, grasshopper today. Yeah, you said it hung on your car all the way to Rye, New York, from Connecticut to Rye. 40 minute drive to work. And I was on the highway and I'm on a highway where everybody does like 80, 90 miles an hour. And this co I keep thinking cockroach in my head. I don't know why I keep getting that word stuck. But it was a grasshopper. It was like that big, pretty fat around, just like clinging for dear life to the hood of my car. The poor thing, like wings flying all over the place. He'd keep like four legs down while they flew around the poor thing and finally like I took an exit and he managed to crawl down like onto the front of the hood and uh survived and I was just like yeah well, he was fine when you got to work he was just fine he was he was just chilling out there probably giving me the evil eye and I'm like well you're all baller grasshopper dude good job I hope you enjoy Rye New York because you were a long way from home <laughs> Like, I hope you don't have a little grasshopper wife and kids back in Danbury because you're never, never going to see them again. No. And my worry was I park in a pay parking lot for work. And I like the whole day, every time I went out to pay my meter, I was like looking around. because I'm like the most tragic thing I can think of 
is that this poor grasshopper like hung on and made it all the way there only to get squished in the parking lot by some asshole in a beamer. But I didn't see any grasshopper guts, so I'm telling myself he made it safely to a tree and he's fine now. <laughs> Tangent. Next season from Pixar. Tangent, yeah. Um, I think obviously the, this is a case of don't leave your fucking car running. Yeah, and don't leave your dog in your car. That's so unsafe. You could fry that poor doggy's brain. Don't you remember that PSA? I'm actually kind of impressed with the dog because he's he hung a Yui. I know. That's 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 dog got skills, yo. But he was probably so terrified. Hi, <laughs> Genku, the fast and the furious. Oh, how did the dog reach the pedals? <laughs> Well, he didn't need to. You switch a car into reverse, it'll go. It'll start going in first yeah, gear. Yeah, it'll just. It'll just go. It'll, a car in drive or reverse will just roll. Yep. And at like five miles an hour, but if you're going downhill, <clears throat> it's the bust in a Yui. I know. That, uses me. That's impressive. In reverse. Kudos. That is some dog. All you right. need to get that dog in the circus. I don't really. OK, I'm not a church going fellow, so I, I'm not quite. Really? Qu I thought you were the lead in the choir. Funny. Um, I'm not quite sure how what lines there are about this or how it's how it's regarded. But I would seem to think this is a case of. Yeah, two things that should not be. This is like bleach and ammonia. What I'm about to show Two you. Great here. tastes that don't taste great together. No. <laughs> the headline's magic, I gotta say. Man's longing for pornography gets him busted for church burglary. Magic. Tur Look at that mugshot. Yeah, he's just like, I don't I've I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. That's a man with a longing for pornography. Troy Riding confesses to stealing a computer from a church back in July. It took him two and a half weeks to get there. Police say an employee of the uh, Os Owasso First Assembly of God called officers about the stolen computer. He tipped off officers it had to be somebody familiar with the church because there were no signs of a break-in. Turns out he was right. Whit Riddling used to attend services. Um... Still, OPD didn't get a break into the case until the church employee was contacted by a tracking software company. Covenant Eyes told the employee somebody had been trying to look up pornography on the computer. Is this guy like training for the Irony Olympics? No, what I'm I'm what's what's bust in my mind is maybe they've got like one of those uh, church picture um screensavers with like you know there's the baby jesus there's the sistine chapel kind of thing and then you move the mouse and suddenly tits well i mean sistine chapel's got a lot of dudes junk on it i know i know but no one wants to see that but uh yeah like are you going for some kind of irony award buddy just go to the library like everybody else. <laughs> no, I'm sure. I mean, here's a computer. I can go to Goodwill right now and get a computer that will go online. It really? won't play. Yeah, it won't play Quake. I mean, well, Quake, listen to me. It won't play like Skyrim. It won't be like, you know, top end. But you can say, I think most computers you could get now yeah, would prob could play probably play. handle. Hey, no one, shut the fuck up. Um, it's not going to handle Pong because, I mean, that's some fucking graphics right there. Um, but uh, it, it'll do video. It'll do video and Internet browsing. I mean, even a five year old computer will handle that. And those are dirt cheap. You can get that for under. Look at Craigslist. People would be like, come take my fucking computer. So yeah. why the dick? Just take it off my hands. Did he like this is one of those cases. I'm pretty sure someone didn't know how computer work. Well, it says he tried to call. The um, 
company and get them to stop monitoring. And that's what tipped off the cops. Riddling even contacted Covenant Eyes to try and get them to take down the monitoring software on the computer. He was denied and the call allowed officers to track him down. Now, what, what, what do you, Covenant Eyes, do you think, I didn't know there was special like church computer monitoring software. Apparently there is. That sounds pretty church related. I know it does. And kind of scary too. So like, do they have special church restrictive monitoring software so that you can't look up anything non-Christian while you're at work? Opus Day is branching out. I mean, on one hand, I guess it makes sense. On the other hand, that's... Oh. Here's what happened. You know what he did? He was fucking around on the computer at church. He found a site he really, really liked jerking off to. He bookmarked it. And he didn't know how to get bookmark off computer. So he took whole computer home. The files are in the computer. <laughs> yes, that is exact. I, that, there you go. He didn't. How do bookmark that pretty much? Maybe he thought that since it was at the church, you know, that, you know, because the church wants to help the needy that he could just take it. No, they're not free. Yeah. You know, some people some people get that in their head, though, that like, well, it's the church. <laughs> Look what I got today. I went to church. I got this book of songs. I got these these uh, Nilla wafers and I got this whole bottle of juice. Do you know, I heard on the news this morning they offer gluten free communion wafers now. You can get gluten free Jesus. I, I would think that if you were if you were gluten intolerant, that would be God's way of trying to tell you something. <laughs> this is my I mean, it's kind of nice that they offer that. But uh, it does kind of put a dent in the whole transubstantiation thing. Because a part of being Catholic is believing that, that the bread turns into the flesh. Blessed, blesses the Eucharist and the wine. It is transubstantiated into the body and blood of Christ. So if you're like, can I get the gluten free, please? It kind of puts a dent in the whole faith thing They're i mean i get why they do it you don't want to get sick for the sake of going to church you're going to come up to the communion bar eventually they're going to ask for a double fats uh soy latte with uh with right. a whip yeah can oh. i get a can i get a half calf macchiato jesus please <laughs> flavored jesus you watch i i may someone hasn't done that yet hasn't done flavored eucharist yet i had a i had the, a girl sitting next to me at my confirmation mask who complained about that. This tastes terrible. Why doesn't it come in like grape or strawberry? And I'm like, you're, you're not, you're Jesus not here. tastes awful. You're not here for recreation. It's not a snack bar. Well, we're talking about the cracker. Shall we talk about the cheese? I don't think I like where that's going. <laughs> this is kind of one of those events in human history that's just it's never going to happen again not accidentally but it's beautiful and it's amazing and whoever fucked up and allowed this to happen this was their destiny and this headline i love it norway goat cheese fire closes tunnel about 27 Tons of caramelized brown goat cheese, a delicacy known as Brunost, caught light as it was being driven through the Bradley Tunnel in uh, northern Norway. Fire raged. The cheese was flammable. The fire raged for five days and smoldering toxic gases were slowing the recovery. The tunnel oh my which God, is said. Do you know what that must have smelled like? <laughs> <laughs> tunnel which is said to be badly damaged is likely to remain closed um the the lord uh police officer Viggo Berg said the high concentration of fat and sugar in the cheese made it burn almost like petrol if it gets hot enough the lorry driver noticed the fire in his trailer and abandoned it uh, about 300 meters from the entrance no one was hurt <laughs> the public really road no cheese was flammable the, the guy at the, oh, the guy at the public roads administration, the last quote in the story. I didn't know brown cheese burned so well. That's in the story. That's so confusing to me. 
27 tons. Like, wouldn't it all just melt? No, no, because it burns. It's wax. It's fat. It's fat and sugar. Fat and sugar burn. Wow. Yeah. I... I guess I'm used to American cheese, which has no actual food in it. <laughs> so it just kind of turns into a sentient being. Now, the story doesn't explain how the fire started. Yeah, it says the driver noticed it and abandoned the vehicle. Yeah, abandoned cheese. <laughs> but I think someone, someone did this. Someone did this just going, you know what? This has never fucking happened before in human history. And I'm going to be the one to do it. I'm going to be the guy that burns down a tunnel with cheese. Yes. You got to admit, if someone came up to you with that proposition, would you like to be responsible for burning down a tunnel with 27 tons of cheese? And you say, why would I do that? And they tell you, because no one in human history has ever done it before. I would say, OK. What? I don't know if that would be enough for me. What? Live in infamy? I mean. It seems like easy cleanup. Just give out a ton of crackers and get people down there. Mm. You've basically got a giant fondue tunnel. So it's kind of a party in Norway. Get everybody some wine and crackers. She'll be cleaned up in two days. <sighs> okay, get ready. Are, are you ready to be pissed off? Because I know this next story is going to piss you off. And it's Florida. And it is. Oh, God. Florida. We need to, we need to play the uh, Florida anthem Derek wrote for us again. Florida. Facebook. And Walmart. We've got a trifecta here. Mom leaves baby with man she just met on Facebook. Then go shopping at Boynton Beach Walmart. 27-year-old mother's facing criminal charges after leaving her infant with a man police described as a stranger uh, while she shopped at Walmart. Um, I cannot read her name. Manuchika? Manuchika Fortin. Uh, Miss Fortin <laughs> faces a charge of child Miss neglect. Fortin, indeed. Uh, police were called Friday uh, to investigate a report of an abandoned child. Stores customer service representative told police a man named. That's got to be that can't be pronounced that way. That cannot be pronounced that way. This is the love story of Manu Chica and Piggy. That's got to be Pidge. Next year from Pixar. It's got to be Pidge or Pige or something. But Piggy Burless left an infant in her care. Uh, the man wrote down a phone number and handed it to her and told her she dropped a woman off at the store and had to leave to go to work. Left the infant with a representative. Police found the infant's mother, Fortin. Um, she met him through Facebook. They had only met each other face to face two times before the Walmart trip, and they usually meet when Fortin needs a ride somewhere. You only know the two only knew each other by their online names. Why are you meeting someone from the Internet to give them rides places anyway? Why are you meeting someone from the Internet to give them your baby? But you don't just drive people from the Internet around like and I say this and I still catch crap for the fact that my my, my lovely boyfriend, we met on the we met on OkCupid mm -hmm. and our first date. He picked me up and everybody I know was like, are you insane? You meet him at a public place like. You let some stranger from the internet pick you up, and I kind of never thought about it. It's a little flaky sometimes. But now I look back and I'm like, well, thank God he wasn't a serial killer, because I'd be in a basement somewhere. You don't just drive people from the internet around. You know, I've... I've you certainly don't give them your baby. I've done many stories. Many, many, many stories over the years. 
but it has been few, if any, that have actually really honestly prompted this response from me. What the fuck is wrong with you, lady? That is not hyperbole. That is not for the for a bit. That's just that's what come. What? Yeah. Because. <sighs> and I love the guy was like, um, look, I got to go work and I'll just take it lost and found and she can come back yeah. and pick it up later. Blah! How do you leave your baby with someone who you don't even know their real name? Yeah, he, she only knew him as Jonas. I left the baby with Jonas. Who's Jonas? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully she has lost baby privileges. For a while at least, yes. Okay. The time has come. Gentlemen, brace yourselves. Now, I normally don't do stories where people get hurt, but Cross this your was... Legs, what? Cross your legs, gentlemen. This was self-inflicted, and he's fine, and it was not life-threatening. And normally, even self-inflicted like that, I still wouldn't go there, but this is amazing. And yes, I sourced this. Yes, I looked it up. This fucking happened, ladies and gentlemen. I... Uh, man 70 gets fork stuck in penis. I guess he's done. <laughs> I've got to put it on the big screen because it's. I'm just, not it, even sorry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, at least he stuck it in the round end first. Look at that fucking X-ray! Oh my god! At least it went in the round way. If he okay, uh, elderly Australian man ended up in hospital after he jammed an entire 10 centimeter fork inside his penis for quote sexual gratification. Zara Medical Emergency. There's something Emer gratifying about that. Zara Medical Emergency was outlined in a paper in the International Jurgery, uh, Journal of Surgery case reports. 70 year old man presents to the emergency department with a bleeding urethra meatus following self insertion of a fork into the urethra to achieve sexual gratification. Multiple retrieval methods were contemplated and success achieved be a forceps traction and copious lubrication. Yeah, that's right. They didn't cut them open and remove it. They just went in there with tweezers and lube. Congratulations. It's a fork. He had to birth it. I understand that, that this is a thing. I don't know why this is a thing, but some dudes like to jam shit up their urethra and they get off on it. I don't know why you would do that, but apparently some dudes like to do that. But the thing is, like, it should be urethra size and shape things. Like, they make special glass rods for this purpose. Oh my God! Glass, yeah, the the that the glass rods, the the thing. Yeah, is, I guess if you don't want to use that, and, you could just put a condom over a pencil. But like, it should be the appropriate size and shape for the opening. This is like lady bits are made for stretching because things are supposed to go into and come out of them that are different sizes. Yeah, the male urethra is not made to accommodate babies coming out of it or things going into it. It's just for peeing. A, a woman can can handle a 10 pound baby, but a man can barely deal with a three. Yes. Yeah. A tiny little... passing a kidney stone is supposed to be like similar in pain to childbirth. Yeah. And my ex-husband used to get a lot of kidney stones. And from looking at him, I believe it. It was not a fun experience for him. Yeah. I mean, so like this is not an apparatus that's made for stretching. 
<laughs> the guy, video is video, and the channel says, I could have stuck it in my ass, but that would have been too obvious. But like, so look for the right size and shape and things that aren't pointy. Well, like I said, at least it things went in the right. Pointy don't belong around your party bits ever. I mean, I guess people are into piercings. I don't really get that. If you want to stick a needle through your dick, that's your business. <laughs> I I just it it. You know, having the fork hanging out of it for a little bit, it looked like, oh my, it probably looked like his dickhead fangs. <laughs> Why? <is> it just... <laughs> Brown, you have to get out of here. Your penis has fangs. <laughs> oh, God. Dog. There's the haunted vagina. Now there's the vampire penis. Vampire penis. Oh, God. Coming soon from Image Comics. Vampire penis. I just, I. I just don't get one. And this dude's 70. Seven. So he's this been. This isn't some fucking 40, like 24 year old frat bro. No, no. This, this is a guy who's just like. You, this isn't some 16 year old messing around because he doesn't know any better. This dude is 70. Presumably he's been using his dick for a long time. Yeah. You've been in possession of a dick for seven decades. You should have the care and handling down by now. Mm hmm. <sighs> Don't stick a fork in it. You realize that's the title this week. That has to be. Yeah. Um, if you like it, then you shouldn't stick a fork in it. Really? There's just so much material here. So, yes, the first thing we learned this week, and I don't know why we had to learn it. Don't stick forks in your penis. Yeah. Ever. You ever sit and think about what the most unlikely combination of words you could ever not remember. anymore not any not anymore we learn I, I pretty much come to expect that every week we will find a new mad libs declaration we never thought we'd have to make because that's our lives we learned that cheese burns who knew and that it can wreck an entire tunnel well, in large yeah. enough amounts cheese is like, dangerous there's a whole new method of terrorism. We've learned if if you really, really need porn. Fuck, go sign up for one of the fucking Android phones over at Sprint. It'll do videos. They'll give it to you for free. Don't steal it from the church. There are other ways. There are other ways. It's the 21st century. Tits are everywhere. And even if the church is a charity organization, I guarantee you that the church is not a charity organization that is donating porn. I promise you that the at, church is not interested in your need for porn. At this point, you could probably get a centerfold in a box of Cracker Jacks. So, you know. It's, it's the age we live in. We've learned that a dog can pull a Yui. Yeah. That, that, that's some dog. Probably can't drive stick, though. I don't know. If you tell him to fetch. Mm, mm, ah, fetch oh, 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 oh. Get the stick, stick, boy. Get the stick. We've learned that apparently having your favorite TV show go out is like the idiot signal line. I have never, this is like, I've never seen a concerted effort of people doing the 911 thing. Like, never. I love me some Lost. I got angry at my friends and family when they called me on my birthday because it was the season premiere of Lost. And I'm like, the fuck you calling me for? It's your birthday. You should know I'm watching Lost on my birthday. If the cable went out, I imagine, like on the Lost season premiere or something, I imagine I would throw an Epic tantrum. No. There would be angry tweets aplenty. And you would be would calling 
is the, call 911. You'd be calling the cable company and you'd be yelling at the cable people. I'd be speaking in tongues to Comcast. They wouldn't even understand the vulgarities I was throwing at them. But I would not call 911. No, because what are they going to do? Moron. What are they going to do? Arrest the fiber optic cable? Come out and reenact it for you? Bring out a couple cops to reenact what's happening on Breaking Bad? That might actually be really fun. Yeah, just do do a play acting like that, like that bit of Futurama with this sexy female lawyer. Do a bit of play acting until we get the actual show back. <laughs> Who's got the script? Um, so we also learned that while people online can be very nice, get to know them before you hand them your offspring. Yes. It... Try I just... not to give your baby to strangers. Where did you spend your third birthday in the lost and found box? At the Walmart. At the Walmart. <laughs> that was amazing. Walmart, Facebook, and, um, and, uh, Florida. Florida. All three together. I mean, Do you still have that Florida anthem Derek wrote? Somewhere. Because there's people that haven't heard that. I'll have to find it. And finally, we learned an ambulance is not a zip car. It, no. They are there to serve the community, but not like that. This is how entitled our society has become. Right, you know, right? That we think that we can just take an ambulance and that we, are, we can call 911 because the TV goes out. This is what entitled petty assholes we have become mm -hmm. thanks to the numerous conveniences at our disposal. Well, the pro yeah, I think it's the problem, the combination of idiots and convenience. You put them together. But we have actually lost the definition of emergency because we think that anything that's an inconvenience to us is a fucking emergency this is what and this is why california has been on fire all summer <laughs> this is why there are holes opening up underneath florida this is why new england gets tornadoes now because the earth is done with us planet earth is like fuck you humanity you're evicted i'm gonna neutralize every one of you motherfuckers the happening is happening. Who knew fucking M. Night was right? I'm, I'm, okay, D.A. Scott Jr., you win everything ever. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but there's a Walmart, so hold my baby. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You well played, win. sir. You win. Well played. You win.